To understand our Santa Ana wind event, we first must understand our unique topography here in Southern California. We have the deserts to the east, we have our mountains, and then the lower elevations, we have the basins, the valleys, and also the coast. This all makes up our unique microclimates here in Southern California. And then when we talk about Santa Ana winds, oftentimes you hear about high pressure, where a high pressure system is generating the Santa Ana winds from the east and blowing it toward the west. Another time you'll hear about a low pressure system moving the Santa Ana winds also from the east and pushing it toward the ocean waters as that low pressure system continues to move counterclockwise. But it all depends on the positioning of these systems that will make up and drive the Santa Ana winds. As we are talking about Santa Ana winds, let's talk about the setup because oftentimes, as I mentioned, we talk about a high pressure system, but if there's a high pressure system over the ocean and the winds are intensifying, that also means there's a low pressure system close by. So it all depends on the positioning of these two systems, which will create some stronger wind gusts. Now with these winds, if it's coming in from the desert, that hot dry air will oftentimes be guided by the local mountains like our Sierra Nevada, pushing it into Southern California. Now as these winds hit our local mountains, the winds will begin to energize and squeeze through the passes and canyons. Usually we talk about Santa Ana winds in our usual wind prone areas like this one right here, where we have pockets of stronger winds in areas like the valleys and also some of our foothill communities. Then other times we'll hear about the winds getting stronger and stronger and that will also mean these winds are not only accelerating through the valleys and over the mountains but it's also going into other areas that don't usually see the wind. Santa Ana winds usually generate and become more active between September and May so when we talk about our hot dry summer months if we continue to see hot dry conditions and no rain spilling into the fall and you pair that with those Santa Ana winds this could drive even bigger and more dangerous wildfires especially during our peak wildfire season from August to to the end of the year. For CBSLA, I'm meteorologist Amber Lee.